is over a furlong to go and it's top draw in front by a couple of lengths still to Olverston with Blackfinch they're trying to close on this leader Folgery can't pick up in behind it's still top draw trying to get there though is Olverston as they race well inside the final hundred yards then Olverston trying to get past top draw Olverston getting on top heading up towards the finish Olverston has got and it's been quickly pulled up so the cob is well clear now from Peachy in second place then comes everything now Grand Ate and Wild Water the cob over the final flight with a good lead from Peachy in second place. They're a long way clear of everything now, being driven out the cob for Nico de Boinville. Well clear from Peachy in second place. There's about six lengths between them, heading up towards the line. It's one for Ben Pauling and the Ben Pauling Racing Club. Nico de Boinville, the cob is off the mark and wins. So in second place is Peachy. Plenty for pressure. Chased now by Flat White in second place. Then comes Yotham. Here's the final flight. Panic attack by a length and a half. An untidy jump by Flat White in second. Yotham comes next. Hard driven panic attack, but she's finding plenty for Tom Scooter. Now she's got about six lengths clear and it's panic attack from Flat White in second. Then comes Yotham back in third place. Panic attack being driven right out for Tom Scudamore. One here for Brian Drew and David Pike. Panic attack is the winner. Crack Danini is over by five lengths, being chased in second by Remember the Man. Then in behind is Watchman, Manella 5 0, trying to pick up his Cape Fair from the back, but Crack Danini is clear by four lengths from Remember the Man in second place. Crack Danini is finding plenty here, doubles all round here for Sean Quinlan and Jenny Candlish, and it's a win for Crack Danini. Off the mark with a win and tackled by Kuzu Man. These two then are clear of Fishkov, who's on the far side. Then comes Bally Breeze. Can you call? Is pulling out plenty under Shane Quinlan. Kuzu Man in second, being hard ridden now by Bridget Andrews. And staying on strongly here is Can You Call, who's opened up now by three lengths to Kuzu Man in second. Fishkov. Then comes Bally Breeze in behind that. Well, Can You Call is staying on nicely to the lines, wandering around, but the job well and truly secured here. Can You Call for Andrew Martin and Shane Quinlan takes the bumper well. Kuzu Man Brian has a good lead now around five lengths. Gumball at the final fence over well. Well clear from You Betcha. Then comes King Rowland, Cheddleton and Bold Plan, but well clear here. Gumball on his second start over fences will run out quite a cosy winner here for Philip Hobson. Tom O'Brien, it's a win for Gumball. You Betcha stays on best for second. King Rowland, the final two fences. Black Tulip is over. Six lengths clear from Ballybo Nora. Overawed is the finisher. She's making very good late headway, heading towards the final fence. It's Black Tulip though with a good lead. Overawed is giving chase under Lee Edwards heading towards the final fence Black Tulip needs to jump and got it there another excellent leap six lengths clear from Overord in second Ballybo Nora and Liffey Dale Dreamer Black Tulip all out in front here Overord in second place has been accepted by Lee Edwards and an excellent jumping display by Black Tulip wins for Tom O'Brien who doubles up on the day it is fantastic trying to get into it Glorious Baru Jolly Maker getting much more animated John Jernil Jr. heading towards the final fence City Never Sleeps pulling out plenty in front from Tis Fantastic here comes Jolly Maker trying to get into it. Glorious Baru's on the far side. It's City Never Sleeps. Tis Fantastic is rallying. Jolly Maker's trying to get on terms as well as they race up towards the finish. City Never Sleeps from Jolly Maker. City Never Sleeps really gutsed it out.